All right, welcome to uh, this interesting little uh, episode here where we're talking about the plantings that happened on Saturday here at Church of the Servant. Uh, we are, are trying to plant a lot of different species of trees, uh, 26 different trees that were planted on Saturday of different species because uh, this fits in well with our concept of refugia. So this is an ecological concept, refugia, are places where uh, organisms can thrive even in the presence of some kind of stress happening in the environment. Uh, way back in uh, you know, the, the glacial time, there were places where the glaciers did not quite cover, uh, and, uh, and so there were little pockets of plants and animals that kind of thrived in those spots so that when the glaciers eventually retreated, those spots became places that would then populate the surrounding land. And we're looking at that now, not so much for glaciers, but in terms of climate change and thinking, okay, there's, there's a lot of things that are happening here that are causing stresses in the environment. Temperatures are going up, uh, there's changes in rain patterns, uh, lots of uh, pretty harsh weather that happens now as a result of some of these kinds of changes that are happening. And this creates a lot of stress for trees. And so we're thinking, okay, there are different species of trees that uh, are probably uh, northern species that are not going to do so well. And there are other species native to this area that uh, might still be able to thrive under these kinds of stressful conditions. So the idea is to, is to, uh, to plant a lot of different varieties, different species of trees, as we've done here, and to then um, uh, try to understand uh, through time how these trees are responding to stressful conditions. Some will probably respond better than others. And so uh, by creating a variety of trees, you kind of hedge your bets a little bit on, on which species are probably going to thrive the best. So the project that we uh, had on Saturday, the planting project, uh, came to be through a grant that the Plaster Creek stewards uh, had. And this grant enabled them to plant uh, tree species um, at three different locations in Grand Rapids, one of them here at Church of the Servant and a couple of other spots. And uh, basically what they did was to try to improve the, um, the habitat for Plaster Creek, especially the, uh, the watershed areas where uh, rain would fall, uh, percolate down into the ground, and by planting more trees, more native species, you're trying to protect the soil so that less of the soil washes into Plaster Creek and we have less of a silting problem with Plaster Creek. Uh, Plaster Creek is one of the most um, disturbed watersheds in the state of Michigan. And uh, after a rain event, we have lots of, of water that enters into the creek, it brings in a lot of silt, brings in a lot of, uh, uh, of uh, coliform bacteria, bacteria that uh, live within our digestive systems. So if we can protect the land and have less of that runoff that occurs, that then will give um, a, a, a better um, a buffering capacity so that the, we don't have these big infusions of water uh, with rain events that happen and therefore flooding and, uh, and bringing in you know, lots of the bacteria and so on. So, so Plaster Creek Stewards has been trying very hard over the last uh, decade or so to, uh, to improve uh, infiltration of water into the ground rather than runoff. And uh, they've also trying to improve a lot of the habitat for uh, especially pollinator species. So we're looking especially for, uh, you know, uh, uh, bees, butterflies, and pollinating birds, and uh, and so they're they're very much throughout Grand Rapids uh, in the uh, Plaster Creek watershed, trying to improve biodiversity, and trying to uh, enhance the um, Im the impact that our city has on uh, being a welcoming area for different native species. So that, those are some very exciting things that we're looking forward to uh, discovering over the next years as we as we uh, watch these trees grow. Of course, trees don't grow very quickly, so it's gonna take some time, of course, for these trees to become uh, magnificent uh, uh, trees. Uh, but in the, in the meantime, we can look forward to uh, the changes that occur. We can look forward to 
uh, how these trees uh, respond to stresses in the environment, and we can look forward to some very interesting shade areas within our uh, property, places that we can uh, celebrate, places that we can, uh, in fact, visit frequently uh, as this uh, new nature trail on our, on our property here is, uh, is, uh, allows people to walk around different places. There will eventually also be spots on the trail that allow some interpretation of what's going on uh, in the habitat here, what kinds of species we tend to find, and, uh, and the ecological functions that these uh, species in trees and shrubs and so on perform within these areas. So, so there's stories that these different trees uh, also then uh, will, can remind us of. And as we learn more about these different species, how the native peoples use them, this too can enrich our understanding of this land that we are, uh, that we are inhabiting.